Earth seems to be a bit of a miracle. It is the only planet that we know of known to harbour life and liquid water on its surface. But since the late 90s, many Earth-like planets have been discovered orbiting neighbouring star systems, which leads to one of the most important questions in astronomy. Are we alone in the universe? In 1961, Frank Drake formulated the Drake Equation. The equation is a series of seven values that calculate the number of other civilizations that we can contact. The number derived from the equation is the number of advanced life forms waiting to be found in our galaxy. The first value in the equation, r, is the rate of star formation in the galaxy. Stars such as supergiants are not included in this calculation, as they would not give sufficient time for life to arise before going supernova. The average star formation is about one solar mass, or the mass of the sun, per year. This equates to two stars forming per year in the galaxy. The next value, fp, is the average number of planets to each star. Our knowledge of exoplanets and other star systems have greatly increased, and almost 4,000 have been catalogued to date. Our best estimate for this value is one planet per Milky Way star. ne is the number of habitable planets per solar system. The term habitable planet is hard to define as we only have Earth as a reference. Does extraterrestrial life even need liquid water to survive? We simply don't know. This quote by Richard Feynman sums up this uncertainty. The imagination of nature is far, far greater than the imagination of man. Our best guess for this value is roughly 1 in 10 planets being capable of life. The fourth value, FL, is a fraction of habitable planets where life emerges. This part of the equation is mostly guesswork, given again, Earth is the only place known to have life. The only data we have on this subject is us, so the value is still in question. The fifth value, Fi, is the fraction of life that evolves to intelligence. This is another controversial value. What deems intelligence? Is it simply having creative thinking, or being able to build advanced civilizations and technology? Out of all the species on Earth, we are the only ones to develop language and civilizations. Are we an anomaly, or simply the first intelligent life on this planet? Unfortunately, these questions can't be answered fully until we find life beyond Earth. The next value in the equation, Fc, is a fraction of intelligent life that develop radio waves. Radio astronomy is the most likely way that civilizations will discover each other across the vastness of space. The problem with this is the inverse square law. If a radio wave is sent into space, it will slowly degrade until it can't be distinguished from the background noise. Double the distance, and the signal strength is a quarter of its original value. So we can't send radio waves beyond a few light years, but what about detecting them? Organisations such as SETI, or the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, have been searching the skies for alien signals for 30 years using large arrays of satellite dishes. So far, nothing has been detected. The final variable, L, is the number of years that a civilization remains detectable. This is another guess, as our only data is ourselves. How long will it take before we or an external force destroys us, or will we last forever? This value is almost impossible to determine. Finally, the answer N is the number of civilizations in the galaxy that exist at this very moment in time. If we plug in all of Drake's original numbers into the equation, the answer is 10. 10 civilizations that are waiting to be found at this very moment. The question is, if there are 9 other civilizations out there, then why haven't we found them yet? The answer is distance. We have been broadcasting radio waves for about a century. That means that our radio waves have only reached 500 star systems, out of 100 billion. As said before, the radio waves would have disappeared into the background radiation at that distance and there is an extremely small chance that an alien civilization would actually be within 100 light years of us. Another point to make is that if we received some sort of signal from a civilization halfway across the galaxy today, it would be thousands of years in the past. The civilization would probably be long gone by now, and we would have no way of contacting them with our current technology. The chance that a civilization is close enough and advanced enough to give and receive a message within a short space of time is extremely small. The Drake Equation gives us an insight into the potential for alien civilizations to exist, but also implies that communication probably won't be possible, at least for now. 
And after all these factors, an even greater question arises out of all of this. Should we really be looking for them in the first place? As always, if you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel as there will be a part 2 to this video next week when we discuss the top 5 best candidates for life. Until then, goodbye.